Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. In this episode we're doing a tour of our um, Mediterranean resort park. And, <clears throat> sorry, my, I'm still getting, I've still got a bit of a, uh, a little bit of a like, tickle in the throat. Uh, so, uh, here we have our entrance facility and then people jump onto uh, our little truck. To take them into the innovation center which is kind of like the check-in point and then if you they turn uh this is only staff this is staff only which has a tower and has the incubation area and then this section here has some guest facilities not much uh not much to do around here because they are purely just looking at this enclosure and if we view here we can see our kentosaurs i think there is only kentosaurs in here i don't think i put anything else to accommodate them but they've got a nice big enclosure to themselves yep makes them nice and happy and then following the monorail track can you change which way? no it should go technically that way but it seems to be going the opposite uh, direction but we are going to follow it this way and we come up to uh, this section here which again has uh, toilet and shelter facilities for when you get off just in case there's there is an emergency mid travel uh, some more guest facilities, a zip line to cross into the third section, and in uh, this area we have uh, in our tree we have uh, Diplodocus, and we also have the Cynoceratops, which are over this area. Plenty of shade, plenty of water, plenty of food. Everyone is happy. Uh, if you go up this to this section, you come into our big, vast uh, oop, wetland area with the dinos. There's a lot of dinos in here, and they're all spread out, and we can go look in the lug as well. Plenty of fish, plenty of uh, plant-based food as well, and plenty of water. There's also, so there's that dome, there's that dome, and then the tree section you've come in from right at the back but they're all happy and then you can cross the uh, zip line area where we have this large guest facility along with a cinema a hotel next to uh, a swimming area for the guests more natural than the pool provided in this enclosure we have very very small dinosaurs I don't know if you'll be able to see them uh, I can't pronounce the name properly. Listosaurus? Listosaurus? Anyway, it's the first dinosaur. So they have two large water se sections with fiber and normal grass food. So they can come back and forth however they like. It is just purely the rocks keeping them in and it's doing a fine job. Uh, toys, water, and sushi, which no one's eating. Uh, if we ride the zip line, we might see some atrociraptors. Yep, there's one eating after I highlighted it. Uh, 
and this speeds you across to this secondary guest area with more action figures. No, that's the same one. Uh, uh, we have a tower also to have a look at the Atrociraptor. They all seem to be over here at the moment, but if we ride this zip line, which will take us to the next section, we can see them eating. There are goats running around here as well, but I do place the feeders in some strategic, uh, strategic locations so people can get a view from towers and also zip line. And over here again, we have an aquarium, some minor facilities. And in here, we have um, kind of, it's a, I guess it's a, an ichthyosaur. Uh, enclosure, we have the big one, the shino, and then the normal ichthyosaurs. So, adults and babies, effectively. Unfortunately, I couldn't put one down here, as it just wasn't... Uh, the... The... Uh, the... It just doesn't connect. It's just, the, it's just too short to connect. Okay, um, yeah, the, 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 the connection is too, uh, too short, so I can't put anything back here. It's, it's, that, that was the limit, really. Oh. And over here, I've got another hotel with some, another small area for guests. In here, we have a few dinosaurs. It's the main carnivore enclosure. We have Majungasaurus. And uh, I'm going to really butcher this. The Quasensaurus. Quasensaurus. Here's a couple of Majungas. Coming back into view. They are happy to live together that's why they're in there and over here we'll go on our gyrosphere store and we are going through the nut section which contains the majority of our brachiosaurs unless they stray out and then they starve to death like the one in the last episode I don't seem to have many issues with the, uh, the new one that's coming Hopefully she will not stray too far. But that's not guaranteed. In this enclosure we have um, the Brachiosaurus Triceratops that won the Battle Royale. Uh, Draco Rex. Not only are our park team vehicles hindered in such situations, Snowstorm? but the tour vehicle you are using today may be affected too. We're in the Mediterranean, why would we yet be getting snow in the Mediterranean? We come up, we can see the uh, Brachiosaurus standing tall. I think there might be um, an Ankylo in here as well. Polycanthus, that's the one. I wanted to put Sora Pelter in and I accidentally uh, picked the wrong one. Oh god, she's uh, she's straight far. increasingly hard for our staff and automated systems to track our animals. You may well encounter some interruptions to our usual services while we attend to routine security measures, but we hope to keep any disruptions to a minimum. Of 
Come on, girl, step over. Now oh, she made it back to the food. Uses its broad jaws and conical chisel-like teeth to crop large quantities of plant material. Its jaws are actually surprisingly weak, and its movements are limited to rudimentary motions. Okay. So we should be coming around to Gallimimus and others around here at the. Because this is mostly the uh, this is mostly fibre and gram leaf area. I think there's a little bit of gram nut up here for the Draco Rex. I think. Snowstorms present a considerable hazard here at the park for guests, staff, and animals. Should conditions worsen during your visit to the park. Please pay attention to the instructions communicated to you via our announcement system. Here's a large triceratops just chilling. Chilling in the grassland. She's getting up as soon as we get past the app. She's up. Oh, looks like she's going for food or water. water we have a gallimimus drinking over there as well Each dinosaur group you see in the park has a socially accepted leader and more gallimimus species, this leader is recognized as the group's alpha but it may find itself being challenged regularly to retain its status not regular enough in one dinosaur 10 minutes it seems like there's only one fight and then they Keep it as it is. Galley eating next to us. More Triceratops. Can't see where the Polycanthus is though. Probably back with the Brachiosaurs on the other side. The most dominant dinosaur in the group is recognized as the leader. However, not all changes in leadership are the result of conflict. Some of the more social dinosaur species achieve the dominant status through intimidation alone. And there's a Draco Rex. Over there, man. But no polycanthus at the moment. Seems to be mostly uh, Triceratops in galleys with a couple of Draco Rex at the at this point. There are few species of dinosaur more recognizable than the archetypal Ceratopsid Triceratops. Depictions of this horned herbivore squaring off against its fierce rival Tyrannosaurus Rex have captured the imaginations of adults and children alike. For many a decade. The gyrosphere brings us to the fourth section of the park, which has our Avery and also has uh, the uh, the capability to not the capability the uh, the domes for access under the the water to the Indominus Rex island. <clears throat> protrusive facial horns. These adornments are not just for display purposes. The brow horns in particular can inflict considerable damage to any dinosaur that dares to provoke it. We will shoot out and we will look for the uh, polycanthus. Oh, we passed the polycanthus. They were deep in the forest. We passed them early on. Okay. <clears throat> Did not see them there. Okay, so here's our uh, fourth area with guest facility and waffle slushies and uh, some fossils. We also have a couple of, uh, not a connection, just a few. Uh, in the Avery, we have 
I think three species. We have the. Uh, I need to have a look. Yeah, the tro Tropiganus. The Marodactylus, and I believe we also have the yeah the G, the Geos. They have a nice large enclosure, plenty of spaces to land and feed, also a little private area back here for them to, well, I say private, there's a gallery, there's a viewing point right there. You can get a decent view. Again, they keep putting the uh, <clears throat> the bars for these just right in eye level. It's either the way I put them down, or the way I use them, or it's just really quite annoying. Uh, we have a second hotel up here, with some more guest facility. No, that's the same one. Uh, we do have a second hotel up here, with more guest facilities. Oh, we also have a rock climbing area, because of... Uh, the mountains around us and then over here in the rock area we have uh, Indominus Island she's at the back here I just use the invisible fence around to keep her in but quite clearly she can escape to a point <clears throat> is she coming back Maybe. No, not quite. And then... But she's um, naturally green, so the camouflage... She just goes even greener. Well, oh, I say more of a grey green. There we go. Was green. I think she went camo. And then in this area, I built, um, I added an Herrerasaurus enclosure. They didn't win anything to get in, but I just thought a nice little deserty dinosaur would be quite nice. And I did have this extra space available for them. Um, here's where the monorail station ends. In here, we have the Coelophysis. Just again, I had a little bit of space left over, and I didn't want to just fit it in with just paths. Um, we have an, a long beach area that stretches around. There's two hotels, along with guest facilities of uh, artwork, energy drinks, and dal, along with hats, milkshakes, and burgers and fries, with a large eating area around here. And then over in this section... We have our final dinosaur, which is our Indoraptor. And, and that is about it, really. Very I, didn't, I could have brought it all the way up and around, but I didn't want it to clash with the Kentosaur enclosure. And then the monorail track goes across the water and back to the start. Or the end, depending on where we where we go at. So that is the end of this park. Um, in the next park build, I won't be doing a battle royale to determine who come who goes in. Um, I'm either going to look at dinosaurs that we haven't used in a very long time, or just not at all, because I don't really use them for whatever reason. Um, and we're going to see if we can build a five star park with that. Maybe I'll do a more mounty tropical in, uh, map. So we'll see what we can create. Um, and that will start next week. Spider-Man is continuing on Wednesdays. As we have no more uh, Jedi Survivor. And if you missed the stream... I did two weeks ago check the playlist it will be the first video as it's the uh, 
it's the start of the playthrough and i'll catch you all in the next one please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you then bye for now